Welcome everybody. In this video, I'll show you how to install Oracle using response files. There are three types of installation. The first is using the GUI, the second is using the response files, and the third is installing the Oracle database from the scratch. So let's start. First, what you have to do is you have to create a folder where you will extract the Oracle installation files. Once you you have extracted all the files, use this command: setup hyphen record hyphen destination file and give the destination of the where you want to save the response file. Here rec hyphen record is used to record your all the session. Here I will save the file in C database and the name of the file will be basic.rsp. You can save it anywhere, uh, wherever you want, you you like. But I'll in this video I'll be saving it in C database. Now when once you hit enter. Your Oracle Universal Installer will start. Yeah, the Oracle Universal Installer is started. Wait for the GUI to appear. Now, once the GUI is there, you can walk through your installation options. Click Next. Select the type of the database you want. Here I'll select standard edition. Click next. Make sure here that you don't override the your previous database installation. If you have already installed the database, here I have already installed. So my first database is home one and db underscore one. So here it is db two, so it doesn't matter. If you are having, if it shows database one, then you have to change it and follow the prerequisite set prerequisite checkups. Once it is finished, hit next. Yes, I want to create a database. Check the create database box and hit next. A general purpose database. Yes. Make sure that you don't give the name of your previous database if you have already installed it. Here I have changed the name to database two. Check the sample schemas check box. Leave every option as it is. Now hit next. No changes. Hit next. Next. No, I don't want to enable automatic backups. Here you can give separate uh, passwords for separate users. Here I'll give the same password for all the accounts. So I entered the password. Then hit next. Yeah, at this point don't hit the install button you have to cancel the installation just go and cancel it do you really want to exit yes i really want to exit hit the exit button now once you have hit the cancel button we will go and check if the our basic.rsp file is generated it generated or not so here i have given the destination as c slash database and the name of the file was basic.rsp so we'll go to that Destination. Yes, I am in that destination. I'll check it if it's there. Yes, the basic .rsp file is there. Now go back to your uh, directory where you have extracted all the installation files and type this command: setup hyphen silent hyphen response file and the destination file. Destination response file where you have saved it during the previous uh, command using when you have recorded the RSP file. Mm, something went wrong, I think so. Yeah, I am not in my installation. I am not in the directory where my installation was. So go to the installation directory and run that command once again. Setup hyphen install hyphen response file. After you hit the command, the Oracle Universal Installer will start. And we'll start installing the database. This is the directory where your log files will be generated after the installation. Done. The installation has been started. The installation will take near about 20 to 30 minutes for installation, depending upon the speed of the system. So everything is passed. Your checks are passed, and your setup is started. So. This was the installation using response file. 
थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो हैव अ गुड डे